Hey everybody, Peter here again. So this is uh, 24 hours later. Um, yeah, so basically just to give you a bit of a rundown on what happened today, at about 6 a.m. I have reset the drip because it was dripping quite slowly. Um, I was maybe making 5 mils every 30 seconds and it's supposed to be set at 10 mils every 30 seconds. So just so you guys can see this, I know some, some people don't understand milliliters, some do. But here's the cup that comes with it, by the way. Um, see if it'll focus on it here. I have the marked with black marker here. So 5, 10, and 15. So I'm supposed to fill up to the 10 mil mark according to the manual, which is right here. I'm supposed to fill that up every 33 seconds. Well, I'm not going to split hairs. I haven't said 30 seconds, but anyways, that ends up being somewhere between a half and a quarter of a, uh, of a U.S. fluid ounce. Um, so, I, like I said, I reset it so that the, uh, the drip is dripping properly. Um, I'm going to tell you, the smell coming off this is still quite horrendous. To me, it smells like uh, rotten eggs, rotten food. Um, natural gas odorizer. I don't know if anybody's ever smelled that, but if you've ever had a natural gas leak, it, it smells like rotten eggs. It's pretty horrendous. Um, it also kind of smells a little bit like hydrogen sulfide. Um, I do work kind of in, in and about the oil industry and have worked in and about the oil industry, so I do know what hydrogen sulfide smells like. Um, and at 10 parts per million, it can start doing damage to the human body. So. Now, I'm not trying to alarm anybody, I'm just saying that's what it smells like. I, I can't identify what this smell is or what the heck is going on, but it's, it's pretty atrocious. Anyway, um, so, let's see if I can scoop some of this out. So, this was clear water yesterday. I don't know if you can see how cloudy that is. But it is, it is pretty freaking cloudy and it's like a green tingy color. Uh, whew, like I said, again, very stinky. So anyways, I just wanted to throw this out here. Um, the pail's sitting at about here. So I think it's about, about four gallons, give or take. I, I didn't measure it out, so I'm going to say probably about four gallons. But anyways, so we have the drip set at uh, 10 mils every 30 seconds, so 20 mils per minute. You times that by 60 minutes in an hour, times that by 24 hours in a day, it ends up being uh, uh, 28,800 milliliters. You break that down into liters, it ends up being 28.8 .8 liters. So if you want to convert that to U.S. gallons, it ends up being 7.06 U.S. gallons. So basically, we're looking at if there's about four gallons in here, I'm looking roughly, I'm changing it every one and a half to two times per day, so it's cycling through this thing at that rate. Um, just to know, um, I, I do follow this book very closely, so um, I am trying to have this unit work exactly as, as John has wanted it to work. Um, so if there is something that I've done wrong, it's gone completely to crap then. Um, because this thing, I, it's, oh, I, the, the smell, I can't believe the smell. Um, also, I wanted to, do, do, to point this out. I don't know if you guys can read this line here, but I'll hold it up right here. What it says is, and this is right from the manual, okay? So this is the Aquarius Pure manual. I'm not making this shit up. But it says, uh, the Aquarius Pure is designed to bring nitrates to zero in a moderately well-stocked, tank but will vary on how long it takes with the aquarium pier to bring nitrates to zero okay so it states right in the manual it brings it to zero or will bring it to zero and it will happen over a period of time well this has been down here seven months that this thing's been running so bringing levels to zero i feel it, uh, it should have done that already all right so anyways i figured we'll get to the test here i've got and I'm going to do this right in front of you so that there is no misconception that I'm cheating or I'm screwing with this test or anything like that. So you can see me. This is the pail of water. I haven't switched anything. I haven't changed anything. There's no hocus pocus going on here. Because I don't want anybody to think that I'm manipulating the tests. 
I refuse to do that because that's not good science. So anyways, I'm taking, this is our one from our tank or from our pail. And I will separate it that way. And I'm also going to take one from the drip. It should be probably pretty close to the same. Here, I'll even hold it up so you can kind of see. Hopefully you can see this. No, I can't hold it up that high, guys. Sorry. If it'll ever fill. Okay, so we got our, our five mils there, too. So I'm just going to mark it by closing the cap. So, again, the API test kit. There's our nitrate test kit. So, I'll give that a quick shake. I've perfected the lid thing anyway. Like I said, bear with me guys, I just, I want this to be absolutely valid. I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating the test or anything like that. Um, and we'll see what happens real quickly here. I may have to stop the video for a few seconds and, and uh, bring it forward or whatever because uh, you don't want to sit there for five minutes. But anyway, okay, so take that cap off and again, hold it up real quick here. Tank water. And this one's from the uh, the drip. So anyway, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, that stinks. And so, anyways, um, kind of the deal with one of the comments that was there um, I just want to say to address it kind of is that um, I don't feel this is a bad system I feel it does a really good job of keeping things on a level keel and stuff like that um, and it, it has brought my nitrate levels down but um, right now the severe problem is is the stink and it does state that it would bring it to zero so that's why I'm not happy. I'm just, I don't feel that was an adequate remark. And for the cost of it, again, $320, I, I don't know if it was worth it because it didn't do what it said it was going to do. So, anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there we go. I got these rocking and they're rolling. Cap them real quick here. Uh, give it a shake. There you go, guys. So, no dramatic results right yet. We'll let it sit here for about five minutes and see what happens. See if it comes down to absolute zero. And by rights, I think, you know, I, I don't expect it to hit zero on the first day. You know, I expect to, even though it's an established aquarium pier, I expect it to, you know, come down quite a bit. So, we shall see. So far it's looking good, guys. So far it's looking like the aquarium pier is, is doing what it's supposed to do. But again, smells horrendous. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a third test just to make sure while we're waiting. Just want to make sure we have a nice, accurate reading. Alright. Okay, so another tank. Um, I got to stop here for a minute. The dog's working. Okay, 
So I'm going to hold it back up here so you guys can see. Oops. Just kind of kneeled on a rock. That kind of hurt. Like I said, this one right here, tank water, second tank water, and this is from the drip. So, so far, we're going on about two minutes now. And it's looking pretty good, guys. Hey, I don't know. I'm thinking it might have, might have actually uh, did what it says it was going to do. I'm at zero right now. So now, if, if, if this test says in 24 hours that I took four gallons of water and I've turned it to zero, um, the issues that I'm facing right now are, like I said, one, smell. I don't know what the hell's the matter with this smell because it's horrendous. And two, um, why is the biologics in my tank um, not going down? It's staying at an even kill of about you know 30 to well, 20 to 30 ppm, somewhere in there about even going as high as 40 ppm. Um, why is the biologics not dropping down to you know I I could have lived with a 10 or a five somewhere in here somewhere in this color range guys I'm not I wouldn't expect absolute perfect but uh, I don't know so anyway got a good mix going on here like you said um, I'm going to disconnect the camera here and bring you a little closer show you what's going on here. So, anyways, I don't know if you guys can see this, but here's the tank water. That was clear yesterday. That was absolutely crystal clear water. Now, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can explain this to me, John, but that uh, that's pretty pretty nasty. So there's the drip, just to show you. There's the aquarium pier right there. And there's our levels right there. Well, I hate to say it, guys, but I think we now have an issue on our hands because the myth is not busted at all. Um, what are we looking at? Another minute. Another minute to go. I gotta turn the camera here just a little bit. About another minute to go. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess we need to uh, contact John here and find out what the fuck so that we can go forward so that I can get this in my tank. Anyway, uh, again, I'll show you one last time, guys. I'm going to hold the current up to it, too, so you can see. Let's see if I can tilt this piece so we can see. I'm going to say that's pretty damn yellow. I got to set it down, sorry. This is the tank. Perfect. This is the tank. Perfect. This is the drip. Perfect. So, I don't know. I have no idea, guys. We will go forward from here. So, like I said, I'll email John and find out what the hell. But anyway, that's it for now. I am going to let it run for another 24 hours. Let's see what happens. I'm sure nothing's going to happen because there's no nitrates in there now. Uh, right on. Okay.